but hi guys, it's been ages, I know, I'm sorry. Um, wow, what's been going on in my life? Um, job changes, depression, other medical issues, uh, personal life, relationships and love, and falling out, and geez, everything. So, I anyway, think, yeah, no, it's been probably, well, I, I don't know, it might even a couple of years since I last put my video up. Um, so I hope this video actually works. It's the first time I've actually used my GoPro in like two years. So, um, hi everyone. It's uh, late autumn. Well, no, mid-autumn. Mid-autumn, sorry. I, I correct myself. Mid-autumn, 2019. I would say the English countryside, but we haven't made, got to the countryside yet. We're literally just about a mile up from my house and I'm still in Maystone. Look at those lovely youth. Jesus, he's tall. Um, but no, I just wanted to get on the bike, get the GoPro working again, start chatting to you lot. So, since the last, where's he going? Where are you going? Good boy, stay there. Since my last video, I put on a lot of weight. I know I was struggling with my weight when you last heard from me, um, but it went horribly south um, in the last two years. Primarily due to a really toxic work environment that I was stuck in. Um, and uh, yeah, that then led to depression and anxiety issues. And oh my God, it sounded like a snowflake. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, uh, it took me a while. So, so some medication and uh, some realization and some lots of support from my friends. I uh, pulled myself through it, got myself a new job, changed, changed careers completely. I've gone to a completely different career now. Um, whereas before I was a building surveyor, now I'm a facilities manager. Ooh, big facilities manager of a retirement village. Which, yeah, it's got its challenges, but it's good fun. Um, and it's certainly something different. But, uh, yeah, the weight has now started falling off, literally falling off. Um, I've lost about three inches off my waistline in about the last sort of month and a half, and uh, it's been a, it, it's I seem to be on the road to recovery, and hence the reason I am now back on my bike, enjoying. It's a bit nippy, I admit. It's a, enjoying the uh, the late late sun. It's uh, mid afternoon now, and the, I think we've only got about an hour or so of, of proper daylight left, and uh, I'm now just on my bike, enjoying it. It's lovely out here. All these new houses. <sighs> and, oh, Toby Carberry. I'm getting hungry already. Um, so, yeah, depression. What a bastard that is. Um, I dare say most of you have had some experience of it, either through loved ones or yourselves. And, uh, But, uh, no, I've pulled through. Oh, yeah, I still have episodes. I think I always will have episodes. But then uh, life is hard, harder for some other people, but life is hard and therefore you just roll with the punches. And you've got family members and friends just around to support you. But uh, yeah, so uh, I'll pick myself up. Uh, Lara, the, the Victory, she's still going strong. She had her service the other day. I haven't put many miles on her, look, look 7,168 miles. I mean, that is just... That's pathetic. I mean, this bike is eight years old. Eight years old, and she's got a total of 7,164 miles on her. I'm ashamed of myself. But that is going to change. I'm going to get out now more often, even in the winter, provided they don't start throwing the salt and the ice doesn't start accumulating on the roads. And, uh, and everything will be fine, eventually. Dirt on the corner here. Careful of that. And those of you out there that are wondering how Lara's doing, she is fine. Absolutely fine. Complete bill of health. Good evening, sir. Um, no issues at all. I've had her for six years now, and I still have the original rear tyre and front tyre on her. 
and I, I can't believe it because uh, you know, admittedly I've only done a couple of thousand miles on those tiles but I would have thought the age alone would have uh, sufficed to say that they, they, they needed changing but they don't apparently uh, after my last visit to the uh, service centre they said there's loads of tread left on the tyres oh that's a nice dog and she sounds beautiful doesn't she oh ho, 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 hello baby um, so yes, back on the bike, back enjoying it. Um, I know in what some of my previous videos I was talking about maybe chopping her in for a Harley or maybe getting a sports bike, but one of the things that I've come to realise in the in the last two years is that this bike is not it is irreplaceable. She she is unique. Um, Harley don't do anything like this. Uh, some of you might say like the Road King or something like that. No. This is not a Road King. This is a very different style bike to the Road King. Yes, it's a bagger. Yes, it's lead back, but it's got a different feel. It feels different to a Road King. It's got a different look to a Road King. Victory had a unique modern look, which no bike does. I mean, I go back to the, uh, oh God, I'm running out of petrol. Uh, I go back to, um, Indian dealer on a regular basis and look at the Indians there and they are plastic Indians and they have no intention of making anything like this bike again and Polaris pulled out of the Victory range um, and Victory is now just slowly dying um, which is a shame but then on the other side it's, um, it's really cool as well because this bike is becoming quite rare I mean I, I can't remember the last time I saw one on the roads around here. I know there's a couple of blokes that own them in around Maystone, but uh, I haven't seen them out on them in absolutely months. Uh, and I'm not likely to now, because obviously the weather's rolling in now. We're going to get to the cold weather very shortly. And uh, it's going to be, it's going to, it's going to be a bit of a weird journey. So no, no, I've got no intention of ever getting rid of this bike. I don't think I'll ever replace her. Um, I can see myself getting something to go alongside her. I can see myself getting another bike to go alongside this bike because this bike has its flaws. And yeah, I know you Victory purists out there are pretty jumping on the screen saying, no, there's nothing wrong with a Victory. No, it's not, not necessarily anything wrong with a Victory. It's just this Victory is beautiful, gorgeous, powerful. It just sings. So yeah, listen to that. That's absolutely beautiful. I uh, wish I had a tunnel right now. Oh, I've no doggy. And, uh, but she's a big girl. Now, I know I like my girls big. <clears throat> but she's not practical. Unless you are doing a long haul camping trip or something. In which case, yeah. She might be, she might be perfect for that sort of thing. But um, no, I, I need a smaller bike, something less powerful, I oh, know it sounds weird, less powerful, something less big, and uh, I know I think I spoke about the Rod Enfields in one of my earlier videos, and I still really do see myself getting myself a little Rod Enfield soon. Um, obviously I've got to save the money up, so soon might not be six months, it <laughs> soon might be 12 months time, but Oh, well, I'm just going to save a bit of money every month and uh, hopefully I'll get there eventually. Um, but yeah, no, I, 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 still, I still fully love the Royal Enfield range and I love what um, Royal Enfield are doing with them. Yes, I know they're made in India and I think, if anything, that's a bonus. I think that's a lovely thing. The build quality might not be perfect, but you get what you pay for. They're very cheap bikes. I think I'll have to do my research, but I think they're still about sort of just five and a half thousand pounds, or maybe even close to six thousand pounds now because they brought out the um, twin cylinder 650 motor for most of their range now. But even so, you know that's a good bike for that price, and uh, it it will just be my little runaround bike. You know, something I can take into town, park up easily. easily because this bike is not easy to park, in any sense of the matter, it's just not easy to park. I mean, it weighs, I think, 350 kilograms. 
you know, that's not something you can easily just push around, or especially uphill. Um, I have to be careful where I park her on a regular basis, just purely because of that. And, no, she's big. She's a big ass girl. I want a little bike I can sit around town in. Or just go down to the local track and have a little track day on. And I know some of you are now saying, oh, Royal Enfield's hang on it, they're not track bikes. Well, no, I intend to make, you know, anything, any bike's a track bike. You know, you just, um, just get on with it, you know. I mean, I could take this time and make it a track bike if I wanted to. I look like an idiot, but, I'm like, you know, it doesn't matter. So, um, yeah, I think that's where I'm going to go. Um, so that's, that's, that's the bike situation out, out of the way. I'm, I'm not getting rid of this victory, unless I go into some sort of major financial trouble, then I've got to sort of set it to make some money. But I don't see that happening anytime soon. Um, I'd rather cut my right arm off than sell this baby. Um, so that's that. And... Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? Um, oh, I've got another dog. So I'll put a photo, photo, photo up in a sec. Yeah, it'll be here in a minute. Um, so I was always I was looking at another dog for a while. And um, of course, I've got Bonnie, and she's an mental booker, Swiss Mountain dog. You have to look it up, guys. I'll put a photo up though. And um, I thought, you know what? I don't want another one of those because I've already got one. You know, you've already got it. You don't need another one. Um, and I was looking at English Bull Terriers because I love those. They've got sort of real sort of Quasimodo type look to them. But um, and I was I was giving myself I was doing my research. I was finding out who the local breeders were and all that sort of thing. And I was keeping an eye on the uh, the dog pe the, no, the dog rehoming centres because they often park for rehoming. Um, and then out of the blue, uh, one of my friends in the Enthal Booker Breeding Association, that's a long-winded word I know, but um, came to me and said, um, we got this dog, he's a young lad, and he needs a foster home just for a couple of months until, until his new family, his forever home, is ready for him. And I thought, you know what, this will be a good, a good chance for me to see how I get on with two dogs in my life. Um, and he came round, he, he has some issues, he's got some detachment issues, um, being sort of like messed around by his first family, and uh, so uh, he uh, he had some anxiety issues, and I thought, okay, I can handle that, and yeah, he, he's, he's there, and uh, after three months, he was getting on fine with Bonnie, and getting on fine with me, and getting on fine with the Hat family, and then, um, lo and behold, the foster family fell through. They no longer could um, take him. And the breeder turned around to me and said, well, how are you getting on with, uh, well, his name was Archie at the time. How are you getting on with Archie? And I went, well, I sort of got attached to the little chap. He's, you know, he's become part of the family. And they said, well, do you want to keep him? And I went, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to keep him. But I thought to myself, I can't keep that name. I can't have Bonnie and Archie. Especially because one of my old Irish uncles was called Archie, and I just... Oh, hello. Um, one of my Irish, Irish, Irish uncles was called Archie, and I thought, you know what, I can't have a dog. That reminds me of my old Irish uncle. So I thought, no, no it's got to change, and well, what's, what's better than, you know, Bonnie and Archie? Well, it's good, you know, I know, here he comes. So I went for the really unoriginal, obvious change to name. He's now called Clyde. So I've got two dogs, both dental bookers, they're both, both called Bonnie and Clyde now, so, yeah, yeah, I've got no originality in my brain at all. But, sod it, he's a lovely dog. So, yeah, I've got two dogs now, which, it, it's, um, it, it makes walking and looking after them, uh, it, it brings it to a whole new level. It's a whole new level of um, issues that I have to deal with now. Um, because they fight a lot, they play a lot, and uh, they'll creep up on the bed at night and cuddle up and turn me into an absolute roast potato. I don't know the of course.
So yeah, I've got two dogs now. I've got Bonnie, who she must be getting on for, I'll have to check, I think it's either seven or eight years old in March. And uh, Clyde, he's uh, three and a bit. So, yeah, that's that. They, uh, they consume my life, so to speak. Uh, what else, what else, what else, what else has been on, on in Dunk's life? Ah, uh, relationships. Okay, so, as I might have indicated in one of my other videos, I am a long time now divorced. Uh, I think I've been divorced about 10 years now. Uh, and I've had a few girlfriends since and none of which have really ended badly. They've all ended pretty much amicably, I think. Hope. Sorry girls if I got that wrong, if you're still holding a grudge, but I'm not. Um, and where am I? Well, I'm not actually looking for another girlfriend. I, I've, I've, I've become so comfortable with, oh my God, look at the mud on this road. I really shouldn't have come down here. Yeah. Get off the mud, get off the mud. Oh, hello. Oh, I'm going to get off this road in a minute. This is not a good idea. Um, so yeah, I'm not looking for a relationship now. I've, I've become very comfortable in my own skin, in my own space. Um, I'm just a happy person. I think now I've got over the depression as well. I don't have that clinging need for human companionship as I used to do. I've, uh, I'm a happy person. I have my motorbike. I have my two dogs. I have a good job. I love my job now. Although I've got to keep, I've only been sort of my third month of probation now, so I've still got another three months to go to try and keep my job. So I try not to screw up at all. Make the boss happy. And uh, oh my god, I really regret coming down this road now. This was not a good idea. At least there's no one behind me. Oh my god, look at that mud. Jesus. Okay, let's just, let's just try and be careful. And that's me, so I'll, I'll sign off here. Thank you very much, guys, look at that sunset. It's gonna be beautiful. And uh, yeah, because I think I need to focus now on this road. And uh, I'll catch you all soon. I shall start making more content. If there's any subjects you really want me to discuss or go through, by all means, leave a message. I'm more than happy to debate anything. Even Brexit, yes, I'll happily talk about, well, no, I won't happily talk about Brexit, I'll talk about Brexit. If you want me to talk about Brexit, I'll do that. Um, because no one else in this country can talk about anything else right now. Because that's just the way England is. We're stuck. Anyway, that's enough of that. Have a lovely evening, guys. Uh, love you all, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.